Dear students, welcome to PISQ Virtual Learning Program. I'm your chemistry teacher with the second lesson of week 8. Before starting our new lesson, let's recall what we studied last time. In our last class, we studied the reaction between an acid and metal oxide. We prepared copper sulfate crystals using sulfuric acid and copper oxide. I hope you understood the topic. Dear students, in our today's lesson, we will talk about the titration. We'll also study how this experiment is carried out in the laboratory. Dear students, we know that when an acid and an alkali react together, salt and water are formed. It is possible to find out exactly how much alkali is needed to neutralize the acid by carrying out an experiment called titration. Titration is an analytical method in which a standard solution is used to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. To understand this experiment, we'll carry out a neutralization reaction between acid and base. During the neutralization, the actual reaction that occurred is between one hydrogen ion from the acid and one hydroxide ion from the alkali to form one molecule of water. The ionic equation between an acid and an alkali is shown here. Dear students, let's see the titration of strong acid against strong base using phenolphthalein as an indicator. The indicator is a chemical substance that changes its color over a range of pH. Phenolphthalein is colorless in acid whereas it shows pink color in the base. A pipette is used to measure the amount of alkali. The pipette is rinsed with distilled water followed by sodium hydroxide solution. A measured amount of sodium hydroxide is placed in a conical flask. The next step is to add a few drops of indicator in a sodium hydroxide solution. To get accurate results, the burette is rinsed with distilled water and little hydrochloric acid. Burnout should be clamped vertically on the stand and filled with the measured amount of hydrochloric acid. Now record the initial volume of hydrochloric acid in the burette. It must be at 0 cm3. Acid is then added to the alkali carefully a small amount at a time. When the alkali has just neutralized the acid, the indicator changes color. This is called neutral point, or end point. The conical flask now contains salt and water. Now record the final volume of the hydrochloric acid. Repeat the process three times to obtain the most accurate volume of hydrochloric acid at the end point. If the salt is required, the titration is repeated without the indicator, using exactly the same amount of acid and alkali. The salt can be obtained by evaporating the water away. To understand more about the topic, let's see this video. Dear students, I hope you understand the lesson. We studied some new words today. You are required to find their meanings. Words are, universal indicator, phenolphthalein, endpoint, neutral solution. Dear students let's summarize what we studied today. 
We studied titration that involves the addition of a known amount of an acid or base to neutralize an unknown amount of acid or base. From the amount of acid needed to neutralize the base, or base to neutralize the acid, one can calculate the pH of the original solution. Dear students, that's all for today. I hope you understand the lesson. Thank you for paying attention. Take care. Stay home, stay safe.